Does it have, it doesn't have that, it doesn't have that. No, this isn't for that. This is already in the oven. It's gonna be so good. You're gonna love it. I wanna see what it looks like. You wanna see what it looks like? Yeah. Let's take a look. There's what it looks like right there. That, like that? Don't tomato? touch it, it's hot. Oh yeah, it's got tomatoes, eggplant, zucchini, onions, and garlic, and thyme. Toby and Ezra are not gonna like that. Estimator. Now can we go outside? What? Now can we go outside? Yes, we can. My house smells so ridiculously good right now with those be veggies uh, baking in the oven. I will, I'll try to find the recipe to link down below. Uh, it's one of my favorite ways to use the summer harvest is that recipe of baked veggies. Come on, come on, bud. It's pretty simple. You just take onions, zucchini, eggplant, uh, garlic and thyme and oh and tomatoes and you layer it and just slice them you know relatively thin and just layer them and then put olive oil on it it's good salt and pepper layers throughout and then you just bake it for like an hour and a half and press it down a few times and it releases all the liquids in a 400 degree oven so it gets kind of charred on top so good Medicine. Here's the girlies mowing the lawn. Clover girl, who I feel pretty sure is quite pregnant. Just keeping an eye on her. She doesn't look like super imminent or anything. What are they doing? They're medicating them. That means giving them medicine. Oh, thank you for explaining that. They're giving. They're medicating the alpacas. Mhm. Mm Okay, so uh, alpacas have to have their parasite re parasite regiment once a month because um, they're prone to a thing called inworm, and uh, so yeah, that's what they're doing. They're giving the alpacas their monthly medicine. Which with the goat, oh, Gabe, come on, dude. Hey, baby, come on, get back in the yard. Gabe, Gabe, come on, love, get back in the yard. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Good boy. Good boy. Thank you for listening. So with the goats, it's as simple as uh, oh, grabbing them, just kind of straddling them. Might take two people yeah. sometimes to give them shots, uh, but it's not, it's not that big of a deal. You know, like drenching them, giving them shots, giving them medicine. Yeah. One person can do it. With the alpacas are much larger animals, and so they actually have to be put in like a chute. Very scared of them. Yeah, I think he's been kicked. That's a boy, that's Conestoga. Come on, Ben. It's okay. Hey, girls. Hey, Shadow. The best one. You think Shadow's the best one? Hey, Betty. So here's the scale, and you have to get them in here to find out how much they weigh so you can dose them properly. So here's Manny getting released from the chute where you have to restrain them to give them their medicine. Wait, He's getting so fluffy. He's what? 171. 171. <laughs> yeah, Tinder. Contender weighs 171. Hey, Gordy Cat. Hey, George. Who do you have? Hey, George. George. Hey, Georgie boy. The other day, um, the Amazon delivery guy was in the driveway and I looked out front and I saw him like very, you know, with a very bewildered look like glancing up in this direction. He was down the driveway and he was carrying a box up and then he very like hurriedly set it down and like walked quickly back to his truck and that's never a good thing whenever you have a farm for someone to be acting that way and I was thinking well I know the alpacas are over there and you can see them like what's the deal and uh, I came out front they actually were not over there Ben or I'm assuming it was Ben one of the little boys went over and they left the skate open and so all the alpacas were like right here in the front yard uh, so that was a fun thing uh, thankfully they're really easy to uh, herd and they knew where they were supposed to be. So when I came out and kind of started to 
walk with them, they ran back up in their yard and I was able to close them in. Like no pressure this. or anything, but I need to see if you like it. Because I already told my YouTube friends that it's the bomb diggity. I'm sure it's the bomb diggity. That's I my last like fresh tomato recipe of the summer. Ah. I used the last fresh tomatoes that weren't frozen or put up. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it was really hot. <laughs> <laughs> so now you don't have taste buds. <laughs> but if you did, what would you think? They're fabulous. <laughs> and hot. And bursting with flavors. <laughs> there it is, guys. Does yes. that look amazing or what? It's fabulous. It's so good. Oh, dark is coming earlier. It is very much the end of summer. here is weird that's for sure check out the sweet potato vine going nuts it's pretty and then the rose bush is finally reaching the top you guys actually have not been in the garden in a little while uh, it's because it's in the middle of being torn out and there's still a lot of stuff that needs to be ripped out getting ready to replant the holy basil still here in all its glory Whoa, I just scared Gary really bad. I'm sorry, Gare Bear. Oh, this smells so good. Check out the banana trees. Aren't they glorious? It's almost dark. I really want to cut down the sunflower. Hey, there's a hatchet. Yep. <laughs> George, what are you doing? Go for it. Hey. You're gonna like chop down the sunflower. I'm gonna chop down the like, uh, It's like magic that? sunflowers here, yeah. like Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah. <laughs> Is the giant gonna come down? Like, that's a mass. Oh, it's tied. It's tied oh. to the trellis. That's what's going on. I was like, oh man, this is so strong. Ooh, that's Benjamin's hatchet. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. <laughs> Is that huge or what? Absolutely huge. Does it matter where we're? I wonder how in? much this thing weighs. No, not really. Here. And George is like, what is this? I think that might be the biggest sunflower head. I think that one opened the last, so. Here's my melon knife. That'll work. <laughs> Here, hold it up. <laughs> That is huge. It's massive. Oh, that is massive. It's like monstrous. It's like twice the size of my head. Still got quite a few seeds in there, even, even though the birds got to a lot of them. So I'm gonna take it and hang it up inside to dry. The back is mm, browning. Um, probably could still use a little drying time. Look at that thing. It's just absolutely crazy. That probably still has, I mean, a few hundred seeds in it at least. With over half of them gone. Like, that's a lot. We got a lot of work to do down here, but it's gonna get done. Um, I started the fall seeds and I went ahead and started some of the stuff that I normally direct sow because we're actually about to put in irrigation down here. I don't know. It has been so hot. I've honestly been a little discouraged. This last week with the garden, it's just so much work. It's so hot, so there are only certain times a day you can really do it. But it'll get done. And uh, before I know it, it'll be fall. We'll be sitting out here enjoying another garden season. I wish you guys could see it, but we've been having these crazy like electrical storms. And I'll sit out here on the front porch at night and just the distance, the sky just like strobes. It's really, really pretty. See you, Gary, dude. Get you a flower. <laughs> Can I cut the stem off and like wear it as a hat? That's what Lauren said. <laughs> Lauren actually. This uh, will definitely could keep the rain off. <laughs> Lauren actually hacked that down with Benjamin's hatchet. Which is uh, it's not his, sharper it's, than a spindle. It's his sword, okay. <laughs> okay, well, yours, I guess. 
are concerned about men having a hatchet, do not worry. Yeah. A teaspoon is literally sharper. Yeah, it didn't do much cutting. No, I, I finally I had to cut it with a she knife. Used we the found knife. a melon knife. Isn't that I did crazy? some tearing and some hatching mm. and that's huge. Yeah. A lot of the seeds it's are crazy. gone. Crazy, yeah, a lot of the seeds are gone. But yeah. look how many seeds are still there. Yeah, I know. Hundreds. Yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, it's Ben Turn's birthday. We already sang to him. Yep. And gave him a cake. Yep. Is, is this just a regular stuff? That is a titan. gray stripe. Oh yeah, Titan. That's right. This is the Titan. And there's the seed to that. That's funny too, because I drove by some sunflowers the other day with a buddy and it was probably like that big. Yeah. Like, Those sunflowers are huge. I was like, yeah, hold but. on. <laughs> okay, go check out Roots yeah. of We are obviously out of light. Lauren and I are about to run to the store, but I had to give Maya a flower first. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We bless you. Until next time.